Hey guys, Mission Impossible Project. It's been uh, one, two, at least three cuts since last time we've seen seen these things. Let me uh, let me throw some pluses and minuses in. I really don't want to go over these, but uh, I did a few things that really should have made it flow more, and it didn't. Okay, I increased the size of the pinch, and when I calculated up the new pinch. It's 227 and change, so we're nowhere near that. <sighs> this cut had a wider, a wider bowl, and I did a little work widening the short side radius, according to my air speeds. Minus everywhere, complete loser. All right, this one here. Oh, I did this with rough with rough walls, and then I I changed the texture on the walls, and it came back a little bit. I'm not going to get into that too much right now. And I did some more work on the exhaust, and that was a loser. Throw that away. Okay, did some more work to it. I really went through the bowl and made it really tidy. <sighs> Worked on the pinch a little bit. Now, this is coming from the last flows that you guys saw. Let me get them out. Okay, last flows you saw plus three cuts forward, minus, minus, plus, minus, minus, minus in the meat, minus, minus, minus everywhere. Swirl, minus, 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 minus everywhere. What I was trying to do is I was trying to get more flow over to this side. I wanted to move some fuel over. I wanted to quit this from lumping up uh, dicum in that spot. Guess what? Doesn't like it. My air speeds all look better. Every air speed looks better, but then again, you're moving less air, so it's a loser. Did some more work to the exhaust. Minus, 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 minus. As of right now, I think I'm done with these because I'm just frustrated, and I think I'm going to do a different top cut on both valve jobs and maybe test that. And uh, I don't think um, there's anything to gain by doing this chamber, but I'm going to make the chamber pretty. All it's going to do is knock down these little mountains. I don't think there's any gain really there at all. But if I change the top cut, I think there's, some, there's gains to be had on both the intake and the exhaust. And somebody said a comment that the extra flow this way is hurting the flow in the port, and uh, I think they're, they're onto something. The port actually got, this exhaust port got some decent work done to it. It's, uh, it definitely looks better. Let me light on that. All right, it looks pretty darn good, actually, but it doesn't do a whole lot. We're doing good on our valve. That's working pretty well. Pretty happy with that and you can see a little bit of fuel move to that side but not not much at all let's look down its throat all right i did some work in here and it's quite tidy now compared to what it did look like before i took some metal out of this uh center wall because it was kind of lumpy and bumpy you can actually see there's a there's a little dicom on that uh, right after that pinch And I can't do much with that wall. But that actually has has blue quite a ways quite a ways down that wall now. I did take a little metal out of that uh, that wall because I need to gain area for this pinch. This pinch is tiny. So I had to take some metal out of the center. I figured the extra volume would really help this. It didn't, it hurt it. So what I think I'm gonna do that little bit on the chamber. I'm gonna do those top valve cuts. After that, it needs bigger valves. And before I do that, I got to talk to DV. Somebody did uh, took my last numbers and ran it through his engine program. I forget exactly what it came out like 300 and 320 something horsepower with the little tiny carburetor. 
One was uh, a high compression 11 to 1, which is probably more realistic of what we're going to need to do. I would definitely say angle mill these heads and uh, deck that block so we get a decent quench. And you have a fighting chance with that little tiny carburetor. And uh, these not-so-great flows out of these heads. I mean, in reality, right now we're at 213 with this size valve. You put a two-barrel carburetor on that with a, with a dual-plane intake. It's going to drop considerably, probably around 160 CFM. 160 CFM is real, real tight. Yeah, I need to show you the bore. I keep forgetting to show you guys the bore. All right, this is cool. Okay, I need extra light on this. All right, we got splatter all the way to here. Let's focus this. Sorry, guys. Splatter, splatter. A nice, a nice whack right there. And look how far around this goes. I think I definitely have a handle on the, on the wet flow. Between that and our flow on on our chamber, that really actually looks quite good. I think I'm done as far as wet flow uh, work work goes. I do believe part of the problem is both of these throat ratios are big, probably between old porting I've done and uh, the way they are stock. I bet they don't have, uh, I bet they don't have tight throats from the factory. I bet they're relatively, uh, relatively big. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out.